Hello everyone, Namaste. Welcome back to my channel Academic Tuber. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 5 from Grade 9 Science that is Anatomy and Life Process. Under this chapter, so we are going to discuss Part 2 Human Nervous System. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and for more updates, hit the bell icon. If you want more videos related to this, please like and do share this video among your friends and don't forget to give your valuable response in comment section. We recognize and react to the different things found around us with the help of sense organs, nervous tissue and brain. A complex network of brain, spinal cord and nerves control and coordinates all the activities of the body. We can identify the changes in the environment and react to them due to the functioning of these organs. Thus, we can say that the interconnectedness network of brain, spinal cord and the nerves that control and coordinate all the activities of the body is called nervous system. Nervous system, it is a group of organs which control and coordinate the activities of human body. In this system, there are three major organs like brain, spinal cord and nerves. Types of nervous system. Human nervous system can be divided into three parts. They are central nervous system peripheral nervous system and autonomous or autonomic nervous system central nervous system brain central nervous system uh, so mainly it is from uh, so main parts of central nervous system are brain and spinal cord so first of all we are going to discuss about brain it is a highly delicate organ of central nervous system and it is located inside a bony box called cranium or skull the brain is completely covered by a three layer protective membrane called the meninges and they are dura mater which is the outermost layer arachnoid which is the middle layer and pi mater which is which is innermost layer so here is a level diagram showing the structure of brain the cavity between the arachnoid and the pi mater is called the subarachnoid cavity and it is filled with a free liquid which is called the cerebrospinal fluid this fluid protects the brain and spinal cord from mechanical shock and injury Pass of brain, fore brain, mid brain, and third one is hind brain. Fore brain, uh, so it consists cerebrum, which is also known as the big brain, and hind brain it consists cerebellum, which is also known as the small brain, pons virally, and medulla oblongata. Cerebrum. It is the largest part of brain and it is also known as big brain. It occupies about 80% of the total brain. Cerebrum is divided into two parts that is left and right cerebral hemisphere by a deep median longitudinal group called corpus callosum. The area of cerebral hemisphere is increased due to convolution present in cortex. The convolution of the cortex is due to the regions and groups. If cerebrum is still functioning, a person enters into coma. Function of cerebrum. Cerebrum, it controls the feeling of love, hatred, affection, etc. It controls various activities like memorizing, thinking, intelligence, etc. It controls the ability of analysis, drawing conclusion and estimation. It controls function of different organs of the body. Next one is midbrain. It is a thick wall structure which constitutes a small middle portion of the brain and it is located between the cerebrum and pons virally. It connects the anterior region of the brain to the posterior region. So here are some of the functions of midbrain. The midbrain controls reflex movement of the head, neck, and trunk in response to the visual and the auditory stimuli. It con also controls the reflex movement of the eyes, changes in size of pupil, and shape of the eyelids. Third one is hindbrain. So hindbrain, we are going to discuss this in three subheadings. Uh, that is cerebellum, pons virally, and medulla oblongata. So first one is cerebellum. It lies just below the posterior part of cerebrum. It occupies over 10% of the total brain and it is also called small brain. It maintains the muscular tone and balance and also equilibrium of the body. Functions of cerebellum. It maintains muscular tone. It coordinates and controls voluntary body movement. It maintains body balance. It controls rapid muscular activities such as running, talking, typing, etc. Next one is pons virally. Pons virally is located between the midbrain and medulla oblongata, it forms a part of the brain stem in the floor of mid hindbrain. 
functions of pons biology pons biology serves as a relay action carrying signals from cerebrum to cerebellum it also regulates respiration and third one is medulla oblongata it is the lowermost part of the brain which is connected to the spinal cord damage to medulla oblongata causes instant death functions of medulla oblongata it works as a bridge between the brain and the spinal cord it controls breathing heart beat and blood pressure it controls vomiting swallowing coughing etc function of nervous system it enables us to think and remember it coordinates working of various gland and tissue of the body it controls and regulates all voluntary muscular activities of different parts of the body spinal cord the long white nerve tissue which extends from medulla oblongata to the lumbar vertebrae is called spinal cord it consists of white and gray matter any kind of damage to the spinal cord can cause a paralysis of the body below the part of injury such injury is known as the spinal injury function of spinal cord it is the control center for the reflex action it connects different part of the body to the brain and it acts as a pathway for the transmission of impulses from different organs to brain and brain to the organs reflex action it is defined as a quick spontaneous automatic and mechanical response to a stimulus for example blinking of eyes coughing sneezing yawning watering of mouth on seeing food etc it is an immediate and involuntary action of the body in response to certain stimulus it is a spontaneous and automatic response to a stimulus and is controlled by spinal cord without the involvement of brain nerves the thread like structure which are responsible for transmitting transferring impulses from one part of body to another part are called nerves types of nerves on the basis of origin nerves can be classified into two types they are cranial nerves and spinal nerves cranial nerves the nerves that are originated from the brain are called cranial nerves and there are 12 pair of cranial nerves in human body similarly spinal nerves so they are the nerves that are originated from the spinal cord and there are 31 pair of spinal nerves present in human body and on the basis of direction of flow of impulses nerves can be classified into three types they are afferent which is also known as sensory nerve efferent also known as motor nerve and mixed nerve first one is afferent or sensory nerve the nerves which carry impulses from receptor organ to the brain or spinal cord are called afferent nerves Similarly, efferent nerve, the nerves that carry impulses from brain or spinal cord to various part of body are called efferent nerves. And finally, mixed nerve, the nerve which consists of both sensory and motor nerves are called mixed nerve, and it converts the sensory impulses into motor impulses. Differences between cranial and spinal nerves: cranial nerves they are originated from the brain, whereas spinal nerves they are originated from the spinal cord. And cranial nerves they are 12 pairs of cranial nerves in our body whereas spinal nerves there are 31 pairs present in our body differences between sensory nerve and motor nerve sensory nerve they carry impulses from organ to brain or spinal cord whereas motor nerve they carry impulses from brain or spinal cord to other part of body sensory nerve is so reaction over something whereas motor nerve is sense instruction to various part of body neuron the structure and functioning of nervous system which acts as a center for sending and receiving impulses are called neurons here is a label diagram showing the structure of a typical neuron regarding the neuron or nerve cell we have discussed this in first part of this uh, unit life process and histology in the tissue types of neuron first one is sensory neuron the neuron which carry messages from receptor to the brain of spinal cord brain or spinal cord is called sensory neuron and motor neuron the neuron which carry impulses from brain or spinal cord to the receptor are called motor neuron motor nerves and last one is connected neuron connecting neuron the neuron which connects sensory neuron and motor neuron is called connected neuron peripheral nervous system the nerve which originates from the brain and spinal cord is called peripheral nerve system and there's the two types of peripheral nerve system are cranial nerves the nerves originate from the brain it controls the activity of eyes ears and tongue it ends in the head region like the eyes ear nose mouth 
tong as sector. There are two pairs of heat among them, five pairs are motor knobs, four pairs are mixed knobs, and three pairs are sensory knobs. Spinal knob. This knob originates from the spinal cord to different parts of organ, and it communicates between different parts of body, spinal cord, and brain. There are 31 pairs of spinal knobs in the body. Among them, 12 pairs are thoracic spinal knobs, 8 pairs are cervical spinal knobs, 5 pairs are lumbar spinal knobs, 5 pairs are uh, scarcer spinal knobs, and 1 pair is coccygeal spinal knobs. These are the things regarding the peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nervous system is formed by combination of cranial nerves and spinal nerves. Now we are going to discuss about the reflex chart. It is a pathway followed by sensory and motor nerves in a reflex action. The major components of reflex are may be explained as First one is sensory or receptor organs. It receives the stimulus. Second one, afferent nerve. It transmits the impulse from receptor organ to the spinal cord. And mixed neuron. It transmits the instruction of spinal cord from brain from the afferent to the efferent neuron. And motor nerve. It carries messages from spinal cord to the effector organs. The reflex arcs can be diagrammatically represented as. So first one is external stimulus from external stimulus, so receptor organ muscles. So uh, impulses, it is carried by sensory nerve to the spinal cord and uh, mix nerve it, uh, and through mix nerve goes to motor nerve and uh, uh, finally to the effector organs and uh, we are going to take a response or give a response. So here is a uh, sketch of reflex arcs which occur when a sharp object pins or in a prick. So sub object, uh, so it clicked on the receptor that is uh, our muscles and sensory neuron carry that impulses to the spinal cord and from the spinal cord, so motor neuron it uh, carry the impulses to the effector muscles and finally we are going to remove the leg and that is going to be our re reaction to the stimulus. Autonomic nervous system. It is concerned with the control and coordination of automatic activities of human body and it is divided into two parts they are sympathetic and parasympathetic. First one is sympathetic nervous system. It increases heartbeat, blood pressure, blood flow to the brain at the same time of sudden extent. Sympathetic nervous system prepares the body for the extreme and the emergency condition. It increases the blood pressure, heartbeat rate, breathing rate, etc. It also enhances the working of his stomach and intestine. Next one is parasympathetic nervous system. The parasympathetic nervous system acts to oppose the effect of sympathetic nervous system. It decreases the heartbeat rate and blood pressure to bring them to, into the normal state. It helps to bring the functioning of heart, lungs, stomach, intestine and urinary bladder back to their normal states. Synapse. The loose connection between the axon ending of one nerve cell and the cell body of next neuron is called synapse. It is the junction through which the impulses travel from one neuron to another. Ganglia The group of nerves that are found near the spinal cord which establish communication between brain and spinal cord are called ganglia. Brain stem It is a stalk-like structure that connects the cerebrum with the spinal cord. Axon It is the longest dendron in the nerve cell, dendrons and dendrites. Dendron is a cytoplasmic extension of the nerve cell for the branching of dendron is called dendrites. Cyton is the main cell of the neuron that, con that contains of nuclear cytoplasm and dendron. Impulse is the information that passes to neuron in the form of chemical and electrical signals. Cranium it is a group of eight flat bones that makes a bone brain box to protect brain. Gray matter it is a tissue made of lump of dendrites. The, the light rose colored part of brain and spinal cord is called gray matter. It is composed of cell body, dendrites, synapse and terminal parts of axon. Next one is white matter. It is a tissue made of lumps of axons. The white part of the brain and the spinal cord is called white matter. It is composed of axon part of neuron. And next one is reflex arc. It is a pathway in which the nerve impulses travel along sensory and motor nerves in the reflex action. 
Now we are going to discuss some of the reasoning question from this unit. And first question is why does injury to cerebrum causes a person to be in coma? When injury damages cerebrum, the nervous system cannot send the normal signals to the body. This causes the coma in which a person loses consciousness and does not wake up for a long time. Why is the spinal cord called the center of reflex action? The spinal cord it is called the center of reflex action because all nerves from various parts of the body meet at the spinal cord before reaching the brain. Third question. The drunk people cannot work properly. Why? Alcohol mainly affects cerebellum. In drunk people, the cerebellum cannot coordinate with the voluntary muscles, hence the drunk people cannot work properly. Next one. Why is an axon covered with a medullary set or myelin? Myelin set. So axon is covered with medullary or myelin set to accelerate the flow of impulses. What are nerves and neurons? Nerves are three like structure that emerges from the spinal cord and brain. These nerves are actually projection of neurons. A neuron is a basic structure and function unit of nervous system that conducts electrochemical signals. Next question. You remove your food immediately if a sharp thorn picks it. Why? When a sharp thorn picks our food, the sensory cells present in the food get stimulated and generate electric signals. Those signals are carried to the spinal cord through sensory neuron. The spinal cord pushes the signal received and passes messages to the effector through motor nerves. After getting the message, the effector reacts and we remove our food sorry, immediately. Next question. A hanging person gets instant death why? Because hanging causes injury in the medulla oblongata, which is uh, responsible for many vital processes like breathing, blood circulation, etc. Next question. The central nervous system is the controlling center of body. Why? The central nervous system is the controlling center of body because central nervous system controls all the parts of nervous system, that is, peripheral nervous system and autonomic nervous system. What is neuroglia? The cells that hold the nerve cells in place and helps them work the way they should is called neuroglia. It provides hemostatic support, that is, it stops bleeding, protection, and defense to the nervous tissue. Differences between sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system prepares the body for any potential danger, whereas parasympathetic nervous system it aims to bring the body to the state of calm. Sympathetic nervous system it has shorter neuron pathway hence of a faster response time, whereas in parasympathetic nervous system it has comparatively longer neuron pathway hence a slower response time. Sympathetic nervous system increases heartbeat muscle tense up, whereas parasympathetic nervous system reduces heartbeat muscle relaxes, etc. Difference between dura mater and arachnoid. Dura mater is the outermost layer of brain, whereas arachnoid it is the middle layer of brain. Dura mater it is thick and strong layer that is attached to inner side of cranium, whereas arachnoid it is thin and soft layer which contains blood vessels. By this, we have completed most of this unit. I hope this video was useful to you. If you have any queries, drop the comment in the comment section. See you on the next video. Thank you.